YouTube, 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 what's up baby? We're back in this thing again for another review. This is Q's Insight. I am Kali, and today we're going to be talking about American Horror Stories Season 2, uh, Episode 7, entitled Necro. Alright, now if you've been to this channel before, you already know how we do it. We started off with the premise, three favorite scenes, the grade, and then we on to the next one. Hey, so again, American Horror Stories Season 2, Episode 7, entitled Necro. So, for this episode, uh, we open up in 1998 and we see um, a female that is dead um, on a floor, and we see a young kid. Um, sucking on uh the dead woman's nipple right and you're just like you know like what is this bro then from there we kind of go back to present day in 2022 and we see we're introduced to the main character her name is sam um she works at a morgue and she basically fixes up the corpses um to uh be looking presentable when it comes time to um you know a funeral right so anyways um we see her fixing up uh this one dead corpse and she does a really good job because whoever it was that was dead like looks dead for sure bro so she did a good job and she ends up getting praised for her work by her boss uh mr henderson and he basically tells her like you know You've done a good job, and I'm going to give you more money. You know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, that's always a, a, a good thing. It's always a blessing, right? When your work gets uh, noticed and you, you know, reap the benefit because of that, right? So um, Sam ends up going home, and we meet her boyfriend, and his name is Jesse. Um, she tells him about her raise, um, and then he leaves for work. And... He, you know, tells her, I'll see you later, you know what I'm saying? Um, then from there, we see uh, that Sam is hanging out with her friends, and she basically talks to her friends about her love life with Jesse and basically saying that, you know, like, things are not the way that she wants it to be. Um, she also talks about her job, and we see that when she talks about her job, she's more um, interested, she's more... Um, you know, it seems like she wants to talk about her job more than, than her, her, uh, boyfriend. All right. So we obviously see that there's a problem there, um, as far as her relationship and her, um, demeanor towards it. Right. So then, uh, we see Sam as she goes back to work, working on a new body. Um, a new uh, a new dead body that she tries to, has a fix a uh, fix up, and as she's doing so, we're introduced to a guy named Charlie, and Charlie basically drops off another uh, body that needs work to be done on. So, um, we see that charlie whispers into the the dead body's like ear you know and that's kind of weird because of you know of course the person's dead so like why are you whispering into their ear and then he leaves and then sam ends up going outside for a bit and she ends up talking to charlie um for a little bit and we see that you know they kind of have certain things in common like they're both fascinated with you know death and and they know a whole bunch about other like um you know cultures and and the way that they deal with death and the way that they appreciate death so we can see that there's kind of a spark between them because of this all right so um she goes home and um jesse and sam they end up you know making love right but we see while they are making love she's thinking about charlie so the next day comes, she goes to work, um, 
she's talking to Charlie about, you know, the afterlife, etc. And, you know, they're just going on and on and on about it. And like I said, there's something there between the two because their their likes and their interests are basically on point. So it's almost like she's found the other half of her and it's almost like he's found the other half of him by just by chance, you know what I'm saying? So and that, that's something, you know, that that's that's rare especially for what they're interested in because like, you know, it's would be considered to be weird, you know what I'm saying? In a way, in a way it'd be it would be considered to be weird. Like you wouldn't be normal. Like that wouldn't be the normal conversations that you would have with your significant other. But she's found that with Charlie. So, you know, like I said, the spark is definitely there and it, it can it maintains to grow especially with the fact of her not being um particularly happy with her relationship with jesse right so um charlie ends up talking to sam about his deceased parents and he ends up telling her the situation that occurred when he was younger um and how they died and then um Sam is just about to tell him how her mother died and she's she tells him like I've never felt comfortable enough to talk to this uh, to anybody you know, not my friends not not my boyfriend not whatever but I feel comfortable right now and we see that they are almost about to kiss but Jesse ends up calling her on the cell phone so you know they kind of break out of the little love trance that they were in and he ends up, uh, Jesse ends up telling uh, Sam, like, hey, you know, I told you my parents were in town. You know, we're about to be, you know, chilling out. We're going to have some dinner. You know, get over here. I already stalled them for as long as I can. So get over here so we can, you know, do our thing. And so she's like, all right, I got to go. She tells that to Charlie. And um, Charlie's like, well, weren't you about to tell me something? And she's like, you know what? Don't worry. I'll tell you about it later. So she rushes home. She gets home. And it's crazy because you're thinking, like, you know, she you thinking the lights are going to be on everything like that the lights are off right and the surrounding um scenario that she's in kind of looks exactly like the very beginning of the episode where we see the lady get killed and um you know whatever else that happens right so anyway she walks in the house everything's dark she hears something break she's freaking out she looks at the ground she sees what seems to be like blood and she sees cereal as well like her favorite cereal and like i said it is reminiscent of the very beginning scene that we're set up with because there was blood on the ground in the beginning scene and there was cereal on the ground in the beginning scene all right now just as she's about to like kind of freak out the lights cut on and sam pops out of nowhere with all of her friends um we see that on the ground it's not actually blood that's on the ground but it's actually like rose petals and then we also see that the cereal is there on the ground, but it's spelled out um, saying, will you marry me? So obviously, Jesse, this is his this is his surprise uh, proposal to her. Right. And and the, and the, all of her friends would have been, uh, you know, amongst them as well. Right. But because of the trauma that she went through when she was younger and because of the scenario reminding her of the trauma that she went through when she was younger, she ends up, you know, breaking, breaking down and it's like, you know what, I, I can't do this. And she explains to him that, you know, this is somewhat reminds me of how my mother died when I was younger. So now we realize that Sam was the girl, the young girl that saw her mother get killed in that beginning scene. Right. But it's not just that. It's also the fact of, you know, this is making her crash down. Like she's like, you know, I can't be the woman that you wanted me to be. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and leave and go my own way. And you deserve better and all this stuff like that, right? So she ends up leaving uh, uh, Jesse's house and then she ends up going to work, all right? Now, when she gets to work, she ends up working on a new body and the body is Charlie. So we're like, you know, like what, like how much time passed is, this, you know, like what, how, how did this happen? Because he just talked to her and she just talked to him. So anyways, she kind of gets there, um, you know, as she looks at Charlie's face, she breaks down and she's like, you know, you were the only one that understood me. You were the only one that kind of had the same interest that I have. And we kind of were both weird together, but that's what made us normal. You know what I'm saying? And like, she just kind of is just 
in this in this mode of like you know everything is like not working out and everything is just ruined you know what i'm saying um so she starts like like gra she grabs she grabs charlie's hand and then like she's like bro i mean like yo like i can't really put it another way but she's she ends up making love with charlie even though he's dead bro and i was just like yo this is crazy this is crazy but while she's doing it charlie's body like his hand reacts and it grabs her arm and then she gets freaked out she runs out you feel me and then she goes back into the room like two minutes later and charlie's body is gone so then she runs back outside she throws up bro um and she feels like yo i gotta go see if charlie's at his house so she goes to charlie's house and charlie's not even dead he's alive we find out that charlie was trying to per se help her, like trying to per se get her to realize that she was weird and it was okay and to accept it. And, you know, therefore he was going to accept her because like they're on the same wavelength with like the whole weirdness and stuff like that. Right. But, you know, she's pissed off because she felt like, you know, he shouldn't have done that and da, 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 da. And he's like, look, like you can't be too mad at me. Like, look what you did thinking that I was dead. Like you tried to, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, being that I love you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going, I'm not going to, like, you know, prevent you from doing what I would want you to do if I was alive, right? So, anyways, like, she ends up, like, you know, just getting pissed off and she leaves. So, she goes back. Um, and, um. She goes back home, I guess, or whatever it may be. Then we skip two months ahead of time, right? And we see that uh, Sam is now working as a cosmetologist, but we see that she's not really enjoying her job, right? We see that she is now engaged with Jesse, but we still see that, you know, their relationship is still kind of where it was at. Like, it's like for her exclusively, like, you know, she's still not happy, you know, it's just whatever. She's just kind of going through with emotions to... As far as like, you know, well, I feel like I should marry him because, you know, da, 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 right. So we still see that she's not happy. Right. Um, so. She's like, it shows a scene where she's like out and about and Jesse's there as well. And then she thinks that she sees Charlie and then um, she kind of like, you know, messes with her head or whatever. Um. So on the wedding day, um, after they do the vows and da, da 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 da, right? Jesse ends up playing this tape of memories, or like this video of memories um, between the you know the two of them, and shows it to her and the crowd, right? So as it's playing, you know they show a few memories, whatever you want to say, right? Then it cuts to a recording of sam making love with charlie's body when he was supposedly dead and so everybody's freaking out her friends is like you know whatever of course jesse's pissed off and he's like yo like what is this da, 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 da. and then eventually charlie ends up coming out um he ends up well he ends up coming into the uh the, the chapel and it's like yo like you know don't trip you know i love you and that's why i'm here and that's why i did this i wanted to let you know that like everything's gonna be okay and you know i you should be with me type stuff and so everybody's freaked out about what they saw but they do realize that the guy wasn't dead so that kind of you know it's a little bit better but still like shorty did think he was dead when she was doing that so it's just you know it, it, it just it just it still is a bad look right so anyways bro like jesse leaves the chapel uh sam is trying to follow after him um charlie tries to stop her and is like look like i love you bro like don't worry about what everybody else is thinking like it's just about me and you type stuff and she's like no i hate you like look what you did you like ruined everything da, 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 da. and so she leaves and then so from there we see that obviously she's not gonna get back with jesse obviously her friends don't mess with her no more and we see her trying to get um jobs but she can't get a job because of the whole video of her making love with Charlie while he was like supposedly a cadaver, bro. Like 
it's went viral. You know what I'm saying? People are making memes of it. You know, people are watching it all the time. And, like, whenever she's out, like, getting coffee, trying to get a job, whatever, there's always people watching the video and prevents her from being able to be a normal human being again, right? So this is making her lose it, you know what I'm saying? And she puts all the blame on Charlie, which is, you know, it definitely was his fault. But at the same time, she did commit that act, you know what I'm saying? So um, basically what ends up happening is she buys this gun off the streets and then she finds Charlie. And then Charlie's like digging up a grave and he's about to fill the grave up with uh, dirt, right? She walks up to Charlie, you know, pulls the gun on him. He's like, look, like, you know, let's just talk. Like, look, I love you. Like, we're both weird and, you know, it's okay. Like, that's what makes us normal. Like, we're both weird. So, like, let's, like, forget everything else. You know, I'll never judge you. You know, I just want to be with you, da 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 right? I would die, you know, a thousand times just to be with you for one minute. All the stuff like that, right? And then she realizes that, you know, he's right. And so she's like, you know, you are really the only one for me. You know what I'm saying? Type thing. So they hug each other. She takes the gun, she shoots him in his stomach, he falls down into the grave, yo, shorty hops into the grave, starts making out with him, and then they make love, and then he, I'm sorry, she pushes the button where this machine drops the dirt into the grave, so they, he's about to die, because he got shot in the stomach, she's fine, she is, but she's in there with him, about to make love, and all the dirt is falling on them, bro. So they're basically going to get buried alive while making love with each other, bro. Like, it's just, it was a crazy ending. Kind of stupid, too, right? But, um, anyways, I don't necessarily have, like, three favorite scenes for this episode. Um, but I do think that this episode was okay. Um, you know, and I, I think that this is the season finale for season two, so... I will say that I enjoyed this season more than season one, even though I did like season one. I'm one of the ones that like season one. But I will say that I like season two a little bit more than season one. I thought a lot of the episodes were stronger. I thought a lot of the stories were stronger. Um, and I, I really did have a good time, and I really did enjoy myself. So uh, for this episode, like I said, I enjoyed it. I thought the ending was um, not the best but still, like, I thought the story was pretty interesting. It's pretty weird, but it was pretty interesting. Um, so for the grade for this, I'm going to give it a, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it an 8 out of 10. All right, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, for the whole season in general, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well. So for season two, American Horror Stories, American Horror Stories, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. For uh, season two, episode uh, seven. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Now, I could be wrong and we may have one more episode. I'm not sure. But I just think that the last season, season one, was only seven episodes. This is the seventh episode of season two. So maybe we may have one more. Maybe we may not. We don't really know. But either way, um, you know, it is what it is, right? We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I mean, 8 out of 10 for this episode. 8 out of 10 for the whole season. I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. And I... You know, and can't wait to see American Horror Story uh, season 11, depending on what it's about. Uh, <laughs> anyways, bro, if you guys saw the episode, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Uh, if this is the season finale, what have they showed thus far that is um, that is to your liking? Uh, which one was your favorite episode? All right. Um, please let me know about that in the comments down below. Always remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, this is Q's Insight. I am Kali. Until next time.